Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be checking out an endoscope made by Teslong. And this is a really good tool to get into places that you wouldn't normally be able to in things like pipes, vents, automotive and other applications. So let's take a closer look at this inspection camera kit. All right, so it comes in in this hard protective case. If we flip it around, we can see some more details. Picture of what it looks like. The model number NTS500B, technical specifications. So the display screen is five inches. IPS panel, so you'll be able to see it on an angle. And the resolution of it is 720p. So this device is able to record images and video internally on an SD card at 1080p quality. And it is battery operated, so it's rechargeable. And here are some of the probe options that are available. All right, so let's open it up. So we do have latches. And we can see here we got a lot of soft foam. So this is everything it comes with. We got the main control unit and it does have a really nice large screen. Navigation buttons. So this model here comes with an ultra thin 16 foot cable and you guys can see how tiny that is. So we got a camera in the front with LED lighting and then we also have a 90 degree side camera with also an LED lighting. And this thing is really thin. It looks to be about five millimeters. So yeah, pretty small compact kind of camera here. And that's what makes this thing really unique. So it's already attached to the main unit. This button here actually is not a release button. It's actually a function button. So on the back of the unit here, we can see we have a little flashlight. We got a mount point right in the middle, a little reset button. And if we go to the bottom side, there's a little door here. And this is where we're gonna charge the unit with a USB type C. And also there is micro SD card that's included and it's a 32 gig. That goes right here. So, And beside the cover, there's a little pinhole, and that looks like to be the microphone. So we're going to power this on in a second and check all the details out. Let's see what else we get here. So looks like we have a USB charging cable to USB Type-C. After sales card, the user manual. And here it lays out nicely what every button does. And also where the foot stand is. and tells you how to use it all. And here are the specifications. And it does look like we have a runtime of about two to four hours, I guess, depending, and also two to four hours to charge. So here's the little stand that actually attaches to the back of the screen here. So let's go ahead and install it. So that makes it where it can sit on the table without falling over. Now, the last thing we got here is an Allen wrench with a little bolt and what this is for is to release the cable here. So the cable is actually held by this little bolt on the back. So if we get the bolt out, this should unplug now. And sure enough, it does. And it is a USB type C connection. So if you want to use another camera cable or a shorter one, you can unbolt it and unplug it from the main device. So that's a nice touch there. So you could leave it like this if you want it to, you know, unplug quickly. It does still hold in there really well, but they do give you the option to lock it in permanently. And that just gives us more security, you know, of not unplugging it while we're using the cable itself and pulling on it and things like that. So, all right guys, so let's see if we can't get this thing to power on. So let's go ahead and hit this power button. Hold it for a few seconds. It looks like our screen lights up. So I am outdoors right now, so it's quite glary. And also we need to peel off this protective layer here. And maybe you guys can see it glowing. So on the very top here, we can adjust the brightness by hitting this button here. So it has three settings, high, medium, and then low and then it's off completely. So let's turn it back on. Now to switch to the side camera, which is the 90 degree, is you're actually gonna click this button here, right on top of the cord here. If we click that, we can see that it goes to the side camera and this light also turns on and you can control it the same way. It looks like it has three settings, high, medium, low, and then off. So yeah, right now we're looking through the side camera. If we click it again, we'll go to the front camera. And we can see now that the front one's working. So beside the power button, we have this little flashlight button. If we click that, our light in the back turns on. So if I click it, you can see it turn it on and off. So it's just either on or off. But it is quite bright, which is really nice. So let's check out some of these functions here. We got the record button here or the shutter button. Then we got up, down, settings, and mode. So if we click the mode, you guys can see in this corner here, it goes through some cycles. So right now we're in video mode. Now we're in playback mode, and then back to photo mode. So if we're in photo mode and we click the shutter up here, little dot, 
it'll take a picture. And same way, if we go to video, you can click the little dot here and it'll start recording. So yeah, pretty simple to use. And then, you know, click M again and we go to what we recorded. So we'll push OK to play back. You can see that it's playing back. And there is sound. So it does have a microphone where it records and, you know, also plays back with the speaker. So if we click on the settings button, here we get another menu that we can use to set certain things up. So we've got resolution. So there's only one resolution, which is a two megapixel, 1080p. And then the date stamp, you can turn that on and off here. If you don't want the date, you can turn it off. And then the shutter sound. So in this menu, if we click the M, we're gonna go to the other settings. Here we have out of power off. So if you wanted to time out at a certain time, let's say five minutes, set that here. You got languages. So these are all the different languages that this device has, and it's quite a bit of them. Let's go to English. Here's where you're gonna set your date and time. And by the way, to go back, you just click the M again. Here we can format the SD card, and then we got a reset to default button, and also our version, which is 1.0. So yeah guys, pretty simple device to use and it's definitely very intuitive. So let's go ahead and release our wire. And it does come with some nice Velcro straps. But yeah guys, this thing is literally 16 feet long, so it's a lot of cable. And it's super thin, which is quite impressive. But it is bendable in any shape you want, and it kind of keeps that shape. So you know, as you're going through things, you can keep bending it around. So it feels pretty durable and sturdy enough, you know, to go into pipes. And also this is waterproof, so we should be able to go completely underwater. So I think for the next part, let's go ahead and find something that we can stick this into and see how well this works. And also we'll be able to record the video on here so for this test we're going to be going into the pool here which will be able to try out the water resistance and also we'll see if we can get into some of these pipes here and see what they look like inside all right so i'm going to switch to video mode and then i'm going to push record so we are recording so let's switch to the endoscope so hopefully you guys can hear me and you can see everything pretty well i'm going to go into this inlet right here yeah guys, I'm not sure if I'm seeing anything here. So we do see something there, but not too sure what it is. Let's go to our side camera. Okay, that looks a little more interesting actually. That's the side of the pipe, I guess. You can see some kind of particles there floating. It looks like leaves or something, parts of a leaf. Now the light is set on the highest brightness, so I wish you could manipulate the exposure a little bit. But I'm looking at it here in the sun in the, on the screen, so it might be a little different here on the video. Yeah, this is what we were able to see here. Switch to the side again. See if I can move this thing around a little bit. I guess it's straight against the wall or something. It looks like it's another pipe there turning. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, so that's like a 90 degree turn there to something else, or at least what appears to be. So yeah guys, as you saw there, you know, you can get into pretty tight places and it's really cool how thin it is and how long it is. So, you know, there's practically enough cable here to, you know, do most things. And also guys, I did forget to mention that if you click the down arrow here, you can see that it rotates the screen so you can, you know, rotate it digitally right on the display. And then when you're done with it, all you got to do is take off this little stand if you're going to use it and it fits right back into its place. And obviously you got to wind up the cable a bit and you got straps to strap it. And so yeah, just like that, you're good to go until you need it next time. And it's well protected and you can put it in your tools. So yeah guys, if you want to pick up an inspection camera for yourself, I think this is a great one. I love the thin cable. Seems very practical and would fit pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to leave some links in the description. Check that out. And if you want something handheld, I actually reviewed another model of the same company also very similar features but it's like a handheld so check that video out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things i do on this channel then stay tuned and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace